My husband is twice my size and all of our king size mattresses always end up sinking. So we thought it'd be a great idea to get a split king bed. And what a split king bed is, is basically two twin extra long beds side by side on one solid box spring. So we ordered these mattresses from Tuft & Needle and unfortunately they sent us two mattresses from completely different lots. So they are not the same size. In fact, they barely even fit my bed. But what we didn't realize about getting a split king bed is that you are stuck with this huge gap in the middle of your mattress. So I decided to do a little searching and I discovered something called a bed bridge. I decided on this one and I'm gonna show you what you get and how to install this bed bridge. So this is the bag that it came in and it came with a little one-sided instruction guide. Inside the kit you get this, which is actually the bed bridge. On one side is soft foam, and you can kind of see it has like a little V shape that goes in between your mattresses. And the other side is just a really soft fabric. I don't know what it is, but it's silky smooth. And a couple straps on one end, and then you have your straps on the other end. Also included is this super long bed strap. I mean, you guys, this thing is so long. It probably will extend from my living room to my backyard. And on the end of this strap is a little like little buckle thingy. It's kind of like a little seatbelt thingy and it has little grippers. And also in this pack, they give you some bed sheet holders, which I actually haven't used yet, but I think that's really cool of them to give them to you. Step number one, make sure your mattresses are as close together as humanly possible. Next, you're gonna take your bed bridge and you are going to place it with the down part of the triangle inside the gap. Now we're going to insert our strap. The strap is gonna go through these two bottom loops and the two loops on the top. I'm gonna to place my buckle at the bottom here so that I know where it is. And I'm actually gonna leave the buckle out with this side in front because that's what I'm gonna to use to tighten the strap. Make sure it's not twisted. And obviously it's gonna be a little loose right now, which is what you want until you get it to fit around your bed. I'm gonna put the end of the strap through this little clamp right here. And you're going to wanna to press down on the clamp so that it remains open. Now we're going to adjust our strap and stretch it so that it fits all around the sides of the bed. You wanna make sure that it's not twisted, which is a little bit easier said than done. And make it as tight as I can because you're gonna to wanna to snug fit. And make sure it's not too tight because if it squeezes on here, it can cause indentations in your mattress. And you are gonna have a lot of strap left over, but you can just stuff the remaining parts under the bed. And there we have it, no more gap. And what I'm most thankful for is I'm not worried about my little doggy's paws getting caught between the mattress. When you lay on it, it smooths out really flat, so I don't even notice it. And here's how it looks when your sheet is on. I'm really happy that I made this purchase. If you're interested in this product, I will put a link in the description below. And as always, thank you so much for watching.